Hello everyone, welcome to Goddess Camp. We are 25th day of February Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover in this video is compare version numbers. We are given the input of two version numbers in the form of string and we have to return an integer value after comparing version 1 and version 2. So here we have to return as the version 1 is less than version 2, return minus 1 and version 1 is greater than version 2 then return 1 otherwise we have to return 0 otherwise in the sense if they are equal so now there are certain rules of how these numbers can be considered while comparing them so the first rule is the given numbers are not just decimal numbers there can be one or more revisions which means there can be one or more dots as well so we cannot simply convert it to a integer or decimal value and compare the values and the other one is if the integer value having leading zeros that can be ignored for example if 1 and 0, 0, 001 are there in different versions they are considered to be equal because leading zeros can be ignored so let's understand this with few examples so here goes our first example in first example the version 1 is 1.01 .01 and the version 2 is 1.001 .001. so the first number before dot is equal so we have to further proceed with the second set of numbers which is after the first decimal point which is 01 and 001 since as per the rule 1 we can ignore the leading zeros so which means they both are equal and we don't have any more dots in both the versions which means we have to return 0. So here comes the second example with version number 1.0 and 1.0.0. So now the same way 1 is equal in both the versions, 0 is equal in second segment and there is a third segment which is not there in the version 1. So as per the problem statement, if a segment is not having any numbers, then we can consider that as a 0. So again, these two versions are equal, so we have to return 0. Here comes the third example. The version is 0 0.1 and 1.1. If you compare the first number before the decimal points, 0 is in the version 1 and 1 is in the version 2. So 0 is obviously less than 1, which means our first criteria satisfied and we have to return minus 1. So how are we going to solve this? So as these things are strings, we can compare to integers only if they are less than or greater than each other so in that case we first going to split each version and store them in string array so the first example will be stored as string of 0 is equal to 1 string of 1 is equal to 0 1 same way version 2 will be saved as at 0th position it will be 1 at 1 position it will be 0 0 1 so the next step is we have to convert them to integer then only we can solve this so after converting both of them to integers they will look like one and one because the leading zeros will be converted will be ignored and this will be considered as one same way this also will be written as one and one now after converting we will be comparing both of them if they both are equal then return zero if they both are different then we are going to return minus 1. That we are simply going to compare if they both are equal and then goes to next one and next one and next one and we return 1 or minus 1 based on the result. If nothing matched and it did not return 1 or minus 1 and we have finished all the iterations in the given versions which means all of them are equal in that case we are going to return 0. As simple as that. So before getting into code, this is going to work in big O of n into k time where to split and save that as an array, it is going to take n and to compare all the split of version, it is going to k take k time. So k is nothing but uh, the split, number of splits the input versions have. So yes, let's go to the code now. So yes, as I said, we are first going to split the versions and convert it to a string array. So we are splitting our version by separating it with a dot and once our arrays are formed we are taking the maximum length out of both the arrays because we have to iterate all possible versions if there is an extra point then we have to iterate three times and assume that the last version is having zero in the other one for that we are taking the variable longest and having the longest value so now let us have our for loop that iterates both the array till longest length so 
So we are iterating both of our arrays to pick the values and convert them to an integer and compare. So we are going to compare every time using the comparator whether the index is less than that array's length because sometimes one array will be of maximum length and the other will be of shorter length. In that kind of cases, every time we are going to check whether the index is less than that array's length. If that's the case, we are simply going to convert the integer in that position and assign it to ver1 or ver2. If not, if one of them having the higher length and the other one is shorter, then in that case, we won't be having values at that index. So we are simply assigning zero in that position as per the problem statement. So once we got our values converted to integer, it's time to simply compare and return the values. So if version one is greater than version two, then we are going to return one. If not, if it is opposite, so if none of them are satisfied and one or minus one is not returned, then in that case, all of them are equal. So we are going to return zero. So yes, this is it. Let's give it a try. Yes, so let's submit. Yes, a solution has been accepted and runs in one millisecond. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.